Sajid bowling to Raza. Well, that one's bowled nice and a little wide outside of off stump. Raza is happy to just let that one go. And some early exercise there for the umpire. Well, he tries to do that again. Oh, there's some confusion out there in the middle. And this will be the very first wicket to go down. We saw that Fazan there was trying to sneak that single. He set off right after connecting there to mid on. Well, the skipper wasn't interested and found himself wanting right in the middle there. Neatly done by the fielder at Midon who threw it back to the keeper and Harish takes the bails off. Oh, he's gone, he's got him. The foot was in the air. That's a great bit of wicket keeping from Harish. Well, we'll see that again maybe from the side camera. Well, he was in a hurry for Zan. He was going after it. He went after this one. But look at the footwork. That's very, very good work indeed. An edge, and he's gone. That is a great catch. An exceptional piece of cricket. Ujway, that is one that we would both be proud of. A perfect delivery, swinging away, gets a batsman playing, takes the edge, and a good catch. Look at the positioning, and look at the balance here. Great cricket. Well, that one's slightly short. Did he get some glove on it? The umpire definitely thinks he did. Well, another wicket down, so the score moves to six for the loss of four wickets, and Gulam is delighted to pluck another one. And there's something on that, I'm sure, and they've got another one. He's gone first ball up from the new bowler. So, he's well, done it, Barty, and the batsman not convinced, but I certainly heard something here. Interesting action, I wonder if that was something that put the batsman off as well. Scoring this solitary run. He's been uh, right in front there, and Rizwan's happy to raise his finger. Yet another wicket there, and Gulam's really rattling through this Norwegian top order all around the place when it's cricket. And with that, we see another wicket falling there, Rico. This one's played uppishly there, getting the outside edge, and that one lobbed up for a simple, simple catch for the fielder in the, off in the offside. Well, that's another wicket. This one struck beautifully down the ground. It's going to go all the way, and that will be our first sixer off this tournament. Brilliant use of his feet there, meeting the ball in his path and sending that one hurtling down straight past the fielder at mid on and into the bleachers. Hasn't been effective so far. Well, this one's found the middle of his bat and has that one sailed over the fielder in the deep. It appears to have. Umpire there waiting for confirmation and it will indeed be the second six of the game so proactive efforts from Muhammad there. And uh, this one's been hit well, it's firmly hit, it's travelling, it's going towards the boundary and it's going to be I think one bounce and four runs so that's the first four. And anyone sporting Norway I think uh, they would all have to agree his contribution being great and this is Balo! Well, Mohamed Cher is looking absolutely dangerous at this point in time. Yes, this one's racing away. If you were to give it a chase, and he can't get to it. Four more, and that's a lovely shot. Beautiful timing. Well, look, you're asking me the question, where can they get from this? Well, look, at the end of this over, Predicted score on your screens is going up and well he's taken the middle stump out but I tell you what that is Jack of the Fatte style that is a boogie oogie woogie kookaburra fireball it has stumped it has snapped the stump into middle stump is not out of the ground is broken in half what a delivery this is look at this again boom it's gone and that's dynamite Well, this one struck well, but it'll find Dylan Blignot here at long gone. And I'm sure his mom is watching and she'll jump up with joy. Dylan was well behind the ball there. On this occasion, Darshna could not find just about the right leverage underneath that ball. Well, well, he went for the York and he got it wrong. It ended up being a leg side full toss. And that's four runs. And what valuable four runs those are from Ravi. Beautiful shot from him. Nicely played. Boys. And this one could be curtains, and it is. Well, he went for the shot. 
He uh, timed it, he thought pretty well, but the field was set and we were just saying, wasn't I, before the start of this ball that uh, left-handed, the captain's got the field, got to get the field right. Well, he did exactly that. It looked like it was a good shot, and for the moment we thought maybe he was going to get a boundary from it, but there was a fielder straight down his throat, and as we suspected, with those quick wickets falling of Scher and then of Darshana, well, number 10 and 11 didn't last that much longer. So that is the end of the innings. For the start of this match, it's going to be a pretty bird with the ball in hand. Oh, he holds this one nicely. There's some hesitation there. That's a close call. Is the umpire going to give him? Well, and that was no. I mean, I mean, looking at this again, I think he just made it. We'll see it again. It was very close. It was a risky one. Look, there was a bit of hesitation there from Raheem Zaire, who was at the non-striker's end. You can see him wait there for a second before he got going. Well, that was a close one there. Well, this one's a full toss on the offside and driven beautifully into the off, but will the outfield cooperate? It does. The ball trickles over the ropes there, and that'll be the first boundary for the German side. Left armor, and uh, he's put a good bit of fielding, and well, that's uh, the throw. The bowler, I don't think, was able to get behind the stumps quick enough, but I think a direct hit here could have been interesting. Up in the air, and well, that's a nice shot, really, because he knows where the field is. It's, I always say, good shot to be play playing in the power play. The two men that are out are behind the bat. Third man, For fine me, leg. This here was the shot of the day, Rico. Look at that beautiful elegance there from Vijay. Short this. and punished, and that's going to be one bounce, four runs. He's up in the air, this is a chance, and that's the first wicket. And that's well bowled, he turned him inside out, and he struck, so Vinay Ravi gets the first wicket for Norway, well bowled. On this occasion, that's an expansive drive over the infield. He finds the boundary. It's Shinwari once again to Talha Khan. Well, it this was a full, full toss, toss on the legs, wasn't it? And for the second time, it's been put away. And well, a good little bit of fielding there done by the Senorita. Muchas gracias, Senorita. Well done. Well, elegantly driven past the fielder at mid off there. And that will be another boundary for Talha Khan. He does look really formidable, doesn't he? And this one is it. It wasn't the best of deliveries. And it wasn't the best of shots either. And uh, he went for the big shot, gets the edge, and the wicketkeeper taking the catch there. So Dashana takes the catch. Well, he's having a good game. Well, that's a ranked short ball that's pulled, but well, Dylan, no, that was Raheem Zai who finds the fielder in the deep, who was waiting for this. Wakas Ahmed strikes. And that's, this, that's the third wicket, I believe, that has fallen for the German team. Oh, well, he's, he's got pulled it. that oh, one beautifully. Oh, what a grab. The that's a Biostrath catch, that is. What a wicket. Well bowled and well taken. All's well that ends well for Vankat Ganesh. Oh. Struck by Hamajat Singh. He's trying to split the two fielders. And well, courtesy of not the best bit of fielding that we've seen today, a misfield, and it goes for four, and that will certainly take a lot of pressure off the German side. It's been a long time coming this. Gets in the position, he hits it quite well, but in fairness, this should have been stopped. And uh, well, yeah, went straight to there. His legs there. And Huck, he won't like to see that again. Short, this is a chance, oh! oh. Well, he should have gone there with both his hands. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. That had to be a two-handed effort. Oh, that's the one that's done him. And he's turned him inside out. He's looking to play this, tickle it down. The onside, the ball's come back at him, taken the top of the bat, and a comfortable catch. Another one bites the dust. He's got a slip in place. And, well, that's all he's going to get. This one will probably trickle over the boundary rope. It does indeed. And that is the end of this first T20 international match here at the Performance Centre here in Krefeld. So and it is Germany, the host, that are victorious.